Hi, Lisa with the Peacock Parlor. I just want to take a minute to show you um, some of the things that are on my my table. I decided to make some copies of some documents that are in our my family, and I thought I would make my own journal with these documents. This is a play that my mother was in when she was younger, and I'm going to fold it, and that's going to be one of the plays or one of the pages, I mean, actually four of the pages, one of the papers. And then I made some copies of some photographs of my dad and my mom and her mom, and my grandparents. And I'm going to include them. That's my grandfather, my mom's dad, and that's my mom and dad. And then I'll attach them to the um, pages. This is um, a certificate that my grandmother earned. Um, that my mom, my mom's birth certificate, um, certificate of baptism, um, this is a GED. This is my discharge papers that my dad got when he after he served in the army. This is these are Italian papers um, that my were my grandfather's that we made copies of. Um, there's marriage certificates. This is uh, naturalization papers of uh, my grandfather's. Um, my grandfather worked for the Delaware and Hudson Railroad. This is from, this is 1951. So, yeah, there's, uh, that's my grandmother's birth certificate. There's a lot of documents here. And I'm going to make a family journal and add those photos in. And so that's one project that I'm, I, I am working on with pit, uh, photos and papers. And then these are some of the digitals that I just wanted to share with you um, of some people that I have found that are, I think, pretty stunning. <laughs> They're a lot of fun. I don't, this is um, Raindrop Lilla digitals. And these are her peonies. more of her peonies. I th of course, I who doesn't like a peony, right? I found that a lot of people like peonies. When I was younger, I thought most people didn't like them because of the ants, but and this is also raindrop lila or lila. And these are her peach peachy roses. And I think they're very pretty. And then the next one is uh, my sister's. She has um, an Etsy shop, and it's called Eclectic Tess. I'm trying to find the tag here. This is her her tag that I keep. She's Eclectic Tess imagery, and I'm having a lot of fun with these digitals here. Um, these are photos. But she's, I've, I've made a few videos of using these. Um, and then these are other ones that she has that I'll make journal cards out of. I made a boho journal using those. But I think this is going to make a fantastic cover. I love this. These are also eclectic tests. This one, um... I just recently made a cover with, I believe it was this image. This is another one I think will make a nice boho cover. This is beautiful as well. And this one. I think I have two sheets of paper here. Yep. And then this is um, 
one of her photographs that I think is gorgeous. I think I might make a, a cover with this too. It's a pretty rose. And then this, these are Tanya Samuels. I think I've shown you a lot of these digitals. I don't have height today for my for my camera so this is Tanya as well and this one the roses in, in these are just so beautiful her photos that I've been working with too And I think these will make a lovely cover. Let's try this way. And then this is um, a new one from Old Asina, Old Asina Scrap. This is her wedding digitals, Polaroids. Very pretty. This is so pretty, and I like this one, too. And this is also Oldesina, and um, she has um, fabric sample. I think it's fabric samples, too, that I still have yet to get. These are button cards. Oh, it's got little roses. Very pretty. And this is um, also Old Asina. I don't know if this digital is still available. These digitals are still available. Um, I've had this one for a long time. I thought that maybe this might make <clears throat> a lovely um, one of those covers where you fold it the long way. This is also old Asina scrap. That's what I thought with that one. Same with this one. I thought the long way. I haven't tried those yet, but uh, several people that I've been watching have been having or creating beautiful waterfall journals. Very pretty. And then this is um, Roxy Creations, Rachel. And 
And then we move on to Sam Pool. Beautiful digitals. So I've been printing off a lot of different things. And then we move into Ruby and Pearl. These are the prayer cards. <clears throat> I think these are gorgeous. Sorry about not having a lot of um, um, space here. Getting tangled up in my cord. <laughs> I still have chapter one papers to print off, but that's my printing for today. More ruby and pearl. This is um, Paper Daisy Journals. I always get it confused and I keep thinking that it's ruby and pearl, but it's Paper Daisy Journals. Everything is just so pretty. This is the newest one that I got. Shabby Blossoms, I think it's called. Really pretty. It's beautiful. I think this is also Paper Daisy Journals. Little ledger cards. And then this is Emily Blue. They're doubles. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, 
This is from Rosabella's um, ephemera and Rosabella's wallpapers. Got a shadow now. I didn't know if maybe one of these two I could make a cover from and do a Rosabella journal. So these um these are all I think I've shown you most of those from before. A lot of the same, just a few different things. So I want to thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye now.